So The Weeknd's feature on Utopia kind of reminded me of his previous album Dawn FM. Both of his previous albums are like heavily inspired by R&B music and 1980s pop, and I've never really tried to make anything similar. So in today's one, I thought I'd try and make a beat in the style of The Weeknd's album Dawn FM. Now obviously, new wave beats are heavily reliant on sound selection, which is why in this video I'm mainly going to be using Synth Palace by Prod by Jack and Ellis Lost. Since I don't have access to any analog gear right now, this is what I'm going to be using to get that 80s pop sound. And of course, if you're at all interested in using any of the sounds in this video in your own production, there will be an affiliate link in the description that will give you a pretty good discount. Now with that being said, let's see what I can come up with. So we're in FL Studio. To be honest, I have no idea where to start. I'm going to set the BPM to roughly 144 for now. And to start off, I'm just going to program like a really simple drum loop and just go from there. I have a feeling it's not going to be as simple as just putting a snare over a two-step hi-hat pattern. Definitely going to be some layering involved here. Pretty simple so far. Once again, it's my first attempt, so I don't really know how well I'm doing. I think the next thing to do is probably add a baseline so I have some idea of where the chords are gonna go. So I think it's about time to open Synth Palace and just see what I can find. So from my understanding in these kind of beats, a lot of Moog bass lines are used, which obviously I don't have access to, but there's a really nice Juno 106 sound in Synth Palace that does like the same job, which sounds pretty similar, so I think I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna put these two up an octave because they don't really sound right to me, so. Alright, I think it's about time that we lay down some chords. Now, I know for a fact there's some really nice pads and synth sounds in the Juno 106. As you can see, I don't have a Juno 106 here. So instead, I'm going to go into the Synth Palace kit, and there's a bunch of raw synth one-shots. So I'm just going to see what I can find and lay down some chords. sounding pretty good but I'm not really getting the sound that I want so what I'm gonna do is duplicate the sound pan one to the left by about 45% and do the same to the second sound for the right hand side and I think that's gonna give me a wider sound overall Yep, much better already. I'm happy with that. I feel like it's still missing something though, so I'm gonna layer that with something else. Once again, in the Juno 106, there's always some really nice synthetic string sounds and brass sounds, so I'm going to attempt to emulate that once again in the raw synth one shots folder in Synth Palace. And I think I found a pretty nice one. It's a bit short, but hopefully it works for what I'm trying to do. I'm not gonna lie, at this point I don't really know what I'm doing, but I found this really nice sound in the Juno 106 folder again, and I think rather than sustain notes I could use it as like chord stabs, and I think that would sound pretty good, so I'm gonna try that. Once 
Once again, that sounded pretty good to me, but I still feel like it's missing something. I think I'm going to go to my go-to Rhodes piano in Keyscape. I'm just going to lay the chords over it again and maybe add a couple of accent notes. Okay, this whole project definitely needs a mix down. Before I do that, I'm gonna head into Diva. So I found my go-to preset for synth up melodies and I'm just gonna lay down a quick up and see what that sounds like. Melody's getting way too busy by this point, but I do want to add one more thing. Because in the reference track that I'm using called Sacrifice, definitely my favorite song in the album. There's like a guitar riff that plays the whole way through. So I'm gonna look for my favorite electric guitar. And the reason I've gone for this one is it's got a really nice pattern when playing along the root notes. So all I did was just copy and pasted the root notes from the bass line and included the pattern, and this is what it sounds like. Though I am going to bounce this out because I can't lie, this VST just kills my PC. Alright, completely unmixed of course, but I do want to hear what this sounds like with the drums, so I'm going to do that now. I think I want the drums to sound a bit more full, so I'm going to look for a drum loop real quick. And from Splice as well, I think I'm just going to add this impact that I found. I don't have much reason for adding it other than I think it sounds nice. And I've noticed in a lot of the Dawn FM sounds, there's like this drum fill that plays. It sounds sort of like a clap sound. So to emulate that, I found like a percussion sound in Splice once again from the same pack with like a sweeper snare effect. To be honest, it doesn't make much sense right now, but with some delay, some reverb, stuff like that, it will sound really, really nice. And with that being said, I think it's about time to mix the melodic elements and the drums and arrange the beat. Alright, I think I've got a rough mix for the track, but I did change a couple of things while mixing that I do want to go over. For whatever reason, like the final chord in every 8 bar, I just wasn't feeling it anymore, I don't know why. So all I did was change the root note of the final chord back down to a G. So as I said, I added a couple of Synth Palace accents that I thought sounded pretty nice. I don't want them to be the most prominent element, so I put them kind of in the background. A couple points of note in the mix as well. The Juno synths, I added some chorus, a vintage reverb. I added the exact same thing to the strings, but I also added a phaser. It makes it sound kind of stupid, but I think it works. And this might sound dumb, but to the bass, I added a wider and some distortion just to make it sound slightly more aggressive to get that Moog sound. I did decide to make the guitar riff a way more prominent part of the track. I added a stereo enhancer, I uh, added a distortion because it wasn't standing out enough for me, and a delay and reverb. And I also added some volume automation to it, so in the verses, so to speak, it's a bit louder. Uh, in regards to that drum fill I was talking about, I did add some delay and reverb to it so that it stands out. For the accents and effects in Synth Palace, I rooted most of them to an accent send and a repeating phrases send, which have some stereo enhancer and reverb on them, just so I didn't have to have like 20 reverbs open on each sound, it just doesn't make sense to me, so... I don't know why, I'm like addicted to using this sound. I don't even know what it is really, but... Either way. So with the final beat arrangement done, I do want to hear what it sounds like with an acapella. So I'm just going to play the beat and we'll see what it sounds like now.
I genuinely don't know what to say about that. I think for a first attempt at the genre, that is like really not too bad. Once again, same intro I had with last video. Since I've listened to the reference track on loop, can't help but feel that the beat just does not fit the acapella once again. But I think in regards to sound selection, sound design, mixing, I'm very happy with how it turned out. And I definitely could not have made this beat without Synth Palace, especially the analog artifacts and modular madness expansions. Once again, if you're interested in using any of the sounds you heard in this video, there'll be an affiliate link in the description for you to check out. And once again, I want to say a big thank you to Proud by Jack for sending me the expansion so I can make stuff like this. Once again, thank you for watching. And hopefully if you're looking for some inspiration, this video helped you in some way. Of course, if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. Let's just listen to the final beat and see what I could do better for next time.